Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the Makeup Forever powder foundation. Not this one, this one, the new one. I'm not doing one on the old one. Actually, I kind of am. I'm doing a side by side in this as well, but we are here for this Makeup Forever powder foundation. This is the newly formulated revamped powder foundation from Makeup Forever. If you're a follower of my channel, you know my love for this foundation. I actually repurchased this recently because I loved it so much and I got a new shade in it. When I heard they were reformulating this, I was really concerned. <laughs> Why are you changing a good thing? We are putting it to the test. I have thoughts on my comparison between this. So if you are a fan of this, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm a huge fan and I'm gonna let you know what's up with this powder. The new powder foundation is called the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet 24 Hour Undetectable Blurring Powder Foundation. It retails for $54 Canadian. I got the shade 2Y30 Warm Sand. It's for medium skin tones with yellow undertones. This was the one that the shade finder on Sephora recommended for me and this was the one that I saw just visually from swatches that appealed to me. It is a pressed powder formula, medium to full coverage. It's customizable. It is mattifying with a natural real skin finish, supposed to be undetectable on the skin, long wearing, 24 hours, waterproof, sweat proof. It claims it's blurring with the Trio Blur Complex, which visibly reduces appearance of texture. It's even silkier texture than the previous, it claims. No caking, no creasing. Use it as a foundation, setting powder, or for touch-ups. It's best for oily, combo, and normal skin. I do have normal skin right now. My skin isn't dry. I'm well prepped, which you have to do for a powder foundation. Typically, I do not use powder foundations as a foundation. I use them for setting or for touch-ups. That's what I used the old one for. I will be showing you this strictly as a powder foundation because out of all the powder foundations out there, this is quite frankly the only one I would ever use <laughs> as a powder foundation. I feel like it's appropriate to use it as one and if you wanna see it as a setting powder, I will be using this in a trying new makeup again on top of foundation. So stay tuned for that trying new makeup because I will be using it as how I usually use it but for those who love a powder foundation, we're gonna be using it as a powder foundation here. The powder does come with a sponge applicator. I typically save these for touch-ups. I actually have the old sponge one to show you, which I find is a little bit better to see the texture on it. So the one side is more flat, silky, and then the other has a velour type of feel to it which you can tell more so the difference on the black sponge because it has a white side to it, so that is the more velvety side. However, this one, it's harder to tell. You do have the Makeup Forever branding on the flatter side, so that is how you can kind of tell. They're supposed to be two different tones, but honestly, it just looks beige <laughs> on both for me. So let's put our hair back. For Makeup Forever products, I actually get a white undertone. I know I usually go neutral in a lot of products, with Makeup Forever, their neutrals for me go quite orange and the yellows tend to match me a lot better. This powder foundation, I actually like the color of it even more than the ones that I previously had from the older powder foundation. Right off the bat, if you were worried about them reformulating this, I actually like this better. So stay tuned for the comparison, but we're gonna go into the demo. I just wanted to tell you right away, if you are worried, don't be worried. I actually like the reformulation better, which is shocking because I felt like they didn't need to change this. I'm gonna use the more velvety side to apply this to the skin. I've used a puff to apply this, both one from Amazon and the Tati Beauty one, if you're familiar with that. I've used a brush, all work fantastically, and I do find this new powder goes on better than the old one. It is silkier, it claims to be, I completely agree. It goes on my skin a lot better. So let's go ahead and take this powder. And we're gonna apply it all over the face. You can see the amount of coverage this has. Let's start here, just with one swipe. And it is buildable. You can build this up to more full coverage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and match my neck. And you're gonna wanna put on concealer prior to putting on the powder. So before doing that, let's put on some concealer, whoops. You can tell I don't use powder foundation all that often. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer just underneath my eye. I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. We're just gonna use the powder foundation on the other places. But I do need a little bit of concealing under my eye. Back to application. I kind of swipe this on and I do bring this underneath my eye 
just to set that concealer right away. If you want a little bit more brightening, you might want to get an extra shade. This 100% blends better. And not that I ever faulted the old powder because I thought it was really good as it was, but using this powder and doing a side-by-side -side between them, it is apparent. It's even silkier. I love the formula. This one is actually talc free now, which I know a lot of companies are moving towards to remove talc from their products. But look at the coverage. It's incredible. You can definitely make this a lighter coverage, build it up. It is a more full coverage powder if I'm going to compare any sort of powder foundation. This one, you can build full quicker than most powders. It's a really full coverage, probably the most full coverage powder that I personally own. And this one doesn't look dry on my skin. I found the old one was more likely to look a little bit dry on my skin. This one is creamier. It looks like my skin. It is more on the matte side. It does say it has a natural real skin finish that's undetectable. I just feel like how matte my skin looks isn't the most natural on my skin, but in terms of its finish, 100% natural. Like you can't feel this, it's lightweight. You can't really tell that it's a powder. It's really such a beautiful formula. If you've never tried this product before, you are missing out. It is such a good formulation for a powder. It is top tier for me. It's one that I will always repurchase and I am happy to note that they made it better. <laughs> Here is the powder foundation on. You can definitely build it up a little bit more. I feel like this is bordering full coverage, definitely a little bit more than medium. But the color you can see on my skin, I don't think it's too yellow, which is something I always worry about for yellow undertones because I don't have a yellow undertone. But this one seems to match me quite nicely. I really, really like the tone even more than the one that I had in the old powder foundation. I feel like this does make my texture look incredible and it doesn't look heavy, no cake increasing, nothing. It is truly beautiful. For me, the true test is the wear for a foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put on all my other products, come back. I'm gonna show you my wear test and talk more about side by side, how these compare, the wear for both of them, and everything you need to know about how this holds up on the skin. I am back, here is the finished face. All my powder products went on the skin beautifully. I feel like it really is such a smooth formula. It is truly silkier than the old ones. So I'm gonna go into the comparisons now for you and the wear test. I'm gonna show you a wear test of just this foundation on its own as well as a wear test of the side by side. In terms of the differences between this new one and the old formula, it is silkier. I feel like those who have had more dry skin types, though this says it's best for those with normal combo or oily. I feel like might actually like this a little bit more because at the end of the day, it was very slight, but I felt like it looked a little bit more natural on my skin. With the new powder foundation compared to the old one, the old one was a little bit more matte for the wear. It did look a little bit patchy and heavier on the skin at the end of the day. It was very noticeable for application and wear for me that I personally really gravitated towards the new product. This goes on my skin effortlessly compared to the other one and I never ever would have noticed that if I didn't have a side-by-side -side comparison to show you because it truly is silkier, creamier, goes on the skin much, much thinner. The exact words I used when I did the wear test for the side-by-side -side was thinner, creamier, and smoother. I truly love this more than the old one and I did not think that was possible. And I will also show you a wear just of this powder foundation on its own. I do feel like powder doesn't wear as well as if I had a foundation under with the powder to set it on top. I feel like the coverage and just overall smoothness and everything of my skin would appear better with a liquid. That's because I'm normal leaning dry. So for a powder foundation for me, is not something that I would reach for for something long wearing. It is personal preference. I would like to layer it myself and have a little bit more coverage underneath when I wear a powder product. That being said, the wear is great. I would still classify this as a long wear powder product. I just lean more towards liquids and that's my personal preference. At the end of the day, if you were a fan of the old Makeup Forever powder foundation and you were worried about a formula change as I was, 
I wouldn't be worried. I truly think they did a remarkable job at reformulating this to maintain what we love about the old powder foundation, but make it even better. I really do think it's better. The packaging is even better to me. I love how it's color coordinated with the shades. Makeup Forever also always does a great job at their shade range. So I'm sure you're going to be able to find one. You can also use this for setting underneath the eyes if you wanted a lighter powder or even for a bronzer. It is really a great formula for versatility, for makeup artists, for those who love a powder foundation, for those who want something convenient to bring on the go for touch-ups. This is perfect. You could put it on in the morning, but also have your foundation for touch-ups throughout the day. Though you don't really need it, at least on my skin, I think it wore beautifully for a full day's wear and it didn't really fade or anything on my skin. I didn't set this with any sort of spray either, which would make the powder look even better on my skin. I just strictly have the powder on my skin and I do feel like I have a more natural glow to my skin once this has set on my skin, I have all my other products on. I do feel like it has that real life skin look and is just truly a remarkable product. I'm so happy with it. I was happy with the old formula and as I said in this video, I know this is short, but I do think they did an even better job at this formulation and I know you will be happy with it if you've tried the old formula. I think they nailed it with this one. This was a multi-day test for me. I wanted to try it with different applications, side by side, different settings in which I felt like I could truly put it to the test and let you know how compared to the old formula as a huge fan of it. I really wanted to test it out for you and it surpassed my expectations because I went into this video with low expectations. I wasn't even gonna buy the product because I was so bitter that they changed it and I'm really glad I did because it is better to me. It is silkier, it is smoother, it looks better on my skin. This particular shade is even better for my tone and I'm just very happy with my purchase. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, wanting to know my opinion, for spending some time with me today. If you've not already, I would absolutely love for you to join my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one.